Hey guys, it's CEO Dreams. Um, I'm just here to do a video on the box of purses, a lot of purses that I purchased from liquidation.com. I promised to do this video like a few, few weeks ago. So here I am doing it for you now. So if you'd like to watch that, please stay tuned. First, I want to apologize. I'm like doing this really quick in the living room with my kids early in the morning <laughs> it's, um, hopefully it's not gonna be too much of a mess so let me show you guys I have this huge box it came pretty um, messed up pretty uh, destroyed when when I saw it like arrive I just saw it like on the on the porch on my front porch and it was just beat up smashed just really poorly poorly handled on the outside um but it's a really big box but I mean honestly I've gotten really big boxes in the mail and I haven't seen that so I don't really know what the um who shipped it specifically uh, but things like that happen I guess everything I'm showing you guys is just like how it came so, hi mommy hi baby so this is like fabric, it's like canvas, and it's like stained in here. Um, this is a Stella and Dot. It's a pretty nice bag though, it has like this striped kind of navy nautical feel to it in the inside. Alright, um, another pretty stained. What brand is this? So it's been a long time since I've gotten this, but I haven't done anything with it because I just have so, so much inventory to deal with right now. Um, at least so much um, in relation to how much storage space I have. I have a lot of inventory and not that much storage space. It like kind of was taking over my room until I bought these bins. Um, you can see them right here. This has become my little like workstation. So I have six of these and I also have two more of those same ones um, in my room, in my closet. And I have uh, also two like under the bed storage bins, like long um, flat storage bins. Those have mostly things that are just already listed. And then what's in my blue bins are just things that are pending listing. And this is a little bit of a mix of things that um, are already listed and need to be listed. But the majority of the things here need to be listed. There's like six bins here. Alright, so let's get into the purses. So it was a lot of... Um, I don't even remember honestly. I don't know if it was 32. I think it was 32 purses. And it was supposed to be designer. The first, the first um, name that I saw in there was like Kate Spade, Coach, Handbags, yada yada yada. Um, so I was like, okay, for designer handbags, whatever, I'll do it. Nice coffee. <laughs> um, so let's get into it. Uh, this is the first bag. I don't know if this is anything. I know there's like a mix of bags that are not like very popular. Um, it's alright condition. I think it has like that crackly. Oh no, not alright condition. Okay condition. Because look at the straps. Um, these were not supposed to be new at all. They were supposed to be designer. I don't know that brand, so if anybody does know that brand, please let me know. Um, there's also this purse. Already see that the some of the strap from the other purse is like melting into that. And by the way, guys, like I said, I have not touched these purses. I have not done anything with these purses. I haven't. I I took them out of the box once to look at them, and that was it. Nouveau dive. I don't know it says it like all in the the lining it's a nice purse it doesn't seem to be in bad condition um, it's just like dirty I think that could be fixed with like um 
a good wipe down hopefully nothing that will ruin it the fabric but it's a nice purse i won't get much from purses like those but um still a little bit more than what i paid for it uh this has like pen mark inside but it, it is kind of like a classic look because I remember my mom having so many of these types of purses. I'm trying to find the brand for you guys. But it seems to be like an off-brand type thing. Because it has absolutely nothing on the lining. This long something. Long C-E-K-E. But it's a nice purse. It, um, it just needs some some molding and probably like a nice little wipe down the inside could use a nice little um cleaning too but it's a it's a cute purse a tan leather like i know it's not real leather but it's like leather like uh, material like faux leather man-made leather leather the, this one got me excited because i thought it was long chap for a second but then it's, i realized it's an old navy bag but it's still a really cute bag it's like uh like fabric like canvas um has handles and then it has also like a crossbody strap not removable but this will be easy easy to clean which would be cool it doesn't it just has a smell to it like not a bad smell just like a musty smell but it's it's a nice bag it has a zipper it's like navy blue it's cute it kind of looks like the long champ bag but it's just like old navies i guess spin on one of those bags nine west which from what i um have seen in the reselling community see my son <laughs> um nine west seems to be a brand that has fallen off a lot um i know it was like a really really popular brand back in my mom's days uh this nine west bag it's a nice bag it has some scuffs on the bottom i think the scuffs right here on the trim are like the only flaw it has maybe some some issues with the strap probably because most of them have like something on the strap the straps are really delicate especially on on like these bags that are like not greatly made this one obviously since it's more of a name brand than those other bags um it has held up a lot because i can tell like this is probably not super duper new but it's cute it's a nice basic thing like i said um probably won't make much off of it another uh jenna de rossi like zebra print shoulder bag handbag it's nice uh, doesn't seem to have anything extremely wrong with it has like oh maybe it was from like a thrift store or something it has this staples on the inside um but it looks really nice really clean it's cute probably just needs a little bit of a, of a wipe down um, I'm wondering if some of these fabric ones, I can just like toss them in like a delicate bag and toss them in the washing machine. That'll be a lot easier for me. I can just wash them while I'm washing my kids' clothes. Um, this one, I don't seem to find a brand on it either. Don't see any brand. Oh, it's out. It's really nice, but I just noticed it has like this crack right here i mean i could still list it a lot of these i can still list as damaged and stuff but you know it would be a lot better if they weren't look at that i don't think this one's gonna sell this one might just get donated really cute bag i i really liked it so that's kind of disappointing um, another bag right here just says made in the usa i don't know i know i've heard that a lot of bags that's ba not bags but um just things in general that might have that made in the usa stamp could be vintage and this looks like it's in pretty good condition so if 
if this is vintage do you guys know any way to like to find that out because this doesn't seem to have any um any brand it doesn't seem to have any tags to indicate like the style number or like anything like that it has that one made in the usa label um it does have a patent number on the uh hardware on the button i don't know maybe i could look that up but this looks like it would be vintage it looks like a um it looks like a messenger bag kind of but it's not as big it's very nice it's in very very good condition which leads me to believe it might be genuine leather it has a few like dirt spots and loose strings here and there but nothing that's like not fixable so that's a really nice bag but i would like to know if it's like vintage so that i can sell it that way liz claiborne right that's her name <laughs> it's been so long since i've heard us some of these brands but this bag seems to be in good condition um again guys i apologize for the lighting um i'm doing this probably in like the darkest corner of my living room it's like the best best place for me to do it and the light is actually behind us so um this is kind of the best i can get it's a rainy it's a rainy day here in new york uh so I don't have a lot of light to work with the only light I have is up top and it's like a yellow light it's not gonna make that much of a difference if anything it's just gonna add like this weird yellow wash to everything and I'd rather just just work on what I got so this does have some like scuffing um you know Liz Claiborne is not anything super high-end anymore so it has like a lot of scuffing I can't really show you guys it's like a faux um, snake faux snake print but it's like really like scuff I don't know if you guys can see some of that like scuff along the sides um, it seems to be in okay condition not super unhappy with it there's a few that I was already really unhappy with Oh, this one was really nice. I feel like this one would probably do good if I just like remove some pieces. This is a really nice bag. It says Melly. It says Melly. I don't know if that's a brand, a known brand. It kind of looks like some vintage thing too, but it, like you know, it has like those faux leather pieces, and um, they're falling apart. I feel like this is something that could definitely be like upcycled to keep because I love this pattern I, I forget what it's called but I love this pattern and it's re a really nice purse but it's just these pieces like this other strap this, these pieces that are like falling apart but the rest of the, the purse is in really good condition um, but I'm not an upcycler I'm not very good at those things, so um, if there's anybody who's like really good at upcycling and would like to have some of these purses to, um, to upcycle, I can give you like a really, really, really cheap deal on the lot of purses that are a little, a little bit damaged so that, so that you can just upcycle them and I guess resell them or keep them for yourself or you know, you can let me have one. <laughs> um, all right this is another really really pretty bag it has this big gaudy flower rose type thing um it's kind of an old style i don't see purses like this being made anymore but it's in really good condition um i'm trying to find a brand i mean as with all of these i've noticed that the majority of them are not designer so like they don't have a brand Sorry. so they don't have a brand um they're all friends they're not designer um that's what was advertised in the in the auction page but um if you look like at the details it does tell you like oh no all of them will be designer some they'll they'll be like mostly defective 
well not mostly defective it says it'll be some defective it tells you like they can't guarantee um, brands and all this extra stuff that I didn't really read the fine print as much as I thought because I did read it but I guess just not as much as I thought all right um another Liz Claiborne but this one is in pretty good condition um it just needs to be clean it's like a like a grayish off-white clean has like two oh like two sides and then that middle pocket right here but it's really oh no no it's not <laughs> as, see the straps are cracking it's a really nice purse you see what i mean like i feel like a lot of these purses are really good for upcycling because i mean i don't know maybe just cut off these straps and put new ones because the the purse as a whole doesn't seem see i'm i'm here biting my words biting my tongue it's cracking so the it looks from far it looks really good but then like you look up close and it's, it's really sad it's really sad it's a really pretty purse um rossetti i don't know if this is something special or not it's just really dirty so far i don't see anything wrong with it it's a nice white purse um the straps look okay it's just pretty dirty i don't know if you guys can see it that much here but it is pretty dirty um but i don't think it's anything that uh some wet wipes or le leather cleaner won't, won't get off it's a really nice bag so i think that'll sell it's like a crossbody bag it's big okay this is this is the tommy hill figure um with this box because of how how messed up a lot of the purses are i'm very weary of any brand that does seem legit i mean this could very well be tommy hilfiger unfortunately the straps are messed up but the purse itself is in okay condition it does have like any of the faux leather parts are a little messed up but you know it has the tommy it has this really cute piece tommy hilfiger as you know the print the th print it's nice it's clean um i don't know it's it's really disappointing when i see that because tommy hilfiger is a good brand it's not amazing but you know it's something that it'll catch somebody's eye the brand at least so it's kind of upsetting that it's in that condition um this one is another off brand I think all it says is genuine leather made in China there is an RN number um, it does look like genuine leather because it's in great condition it does have like this I don't know if it's like a suede mix or like velvet velour or something like that it might be suede but it's super super soft but it's in really good condition. It just needs to be cleaned on the inside. I know you guys can't see that, but it's really dirty in there. But it's a really nice bag. Nice, like, basic bag. A lot of these bags are pretty basic. They're nothing, like, super amazing. Um, this is a really old-style bag. Like, I remember my mom having so many of these. Again, I can't find the brand. Oh, this is actually St. John's Bay. Is St. John's Bay an old brand? Because this looks like a really old style of purse. It feels like um like a suede material, but I don't know if it's actually suede. It could be, and the straps could be genuine leather because they don't look messed up. And it looks like they have like some paint or like pieces of a, of a faux leather purse on there or something, but it's in like really good condition. Um, if anybody can let me know, is St. John's Bay an old brand? Because I really only heard of it um, these past few months that I started reselling. I don't know anything about most brands. So that brand I only heard of. And I know it's a JCPenney brand. 
But that's a really, really nice purse. And it's in really good condition. But it's just such an old style that I don't see that style coming out anymore. Um, Alright, this is another purse that I don't see any brand on it at all. But it is in pretty good good condition i'm trying to say that slowly because i'm just not sure how good condition it is it seems like like it had like glue or whatever on the sides of the straps and it seems to be coming off but it's in good condition it's a big bag nice big carrying bag handbag shoulder bag whatever it's another like i feel like a lot of these purses like came straight out of my mom's closet all right so this one is supposed to be a coach bag but like i said i'm not 100 percent confident on that's the can you see it the label tag coach seems legit um it does have a story patch on the inside but, you know, I don't know specifically what the story patch is supposed to say. It looks good. It doesn't look um, super inconsistent or anything like that. It looks authentic. It looks pretty authentic. So, depending on how much I could possibly uh, make on this bag, I might... Uh, go ahead and try to get it authenticated if i don't feel like i can get much i might just you know like look on on facebook on my facebook groups or on instagram to ask um the public's opinion you guys please let me know if you think it's real or not another bag that i feel like is pretty outdated and super dirty i know that cannot be part of the style it just can't but it's like but the whole bag is like that like where where what did they do to this bag like it has it's like 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 smoke like it was in a like a fire or something it's like i don't know it's like it looks like it was probably like somewhere that was fire on fire and like like all the burning ash and stuff just like stained it or something i don't know that's what it looks like it looks crazy it's scary it doesn't have any brand it's like a gold metallic purse i don't know if this is this will clean off or if it's even worth trying because it's all over it's it's gonna be a hard hard project to see if that's possible like I said, a lot of these might just get donated. I'm not 100% unhappy with this box just because um, I feel like for the price of each thing, it was like, all right, I got a lot of purses. Um, I got to feel out that website. And I, I don't think it's a bad website. I think you just need to really be conscious of exactly what you're buying. Um, Anna? Anna, a new approach? anybody knows that brand please let me know but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous bag in great condition straps are good everything's good some dog hair on it but you know i'll clean that now another bag that i feel like is really outdated Bris Bracciano, Bracciano. I don't. Um, I think it's like an Italian name. I'm not good with stuff like that. But um, it is a cute, cute bag. It still even has these like packs to like keep it dry on the inside. Uh, it's like pink. It's like canvas. -y. It has like this this reptile type thing. I don't know if it's real leather, but it has held up. So it could be. But it's really, really cute. It has that same print on the bottom. Really, really good bag. I feel like we started off bad and we're getting better. I like it. See if this has a friend. Also, this is the Liz Claiborne bag. 
unfortunately, compared to the other Liz Claiborne bags, this is in a lot better condition, at least from the outside. It's really funky. It has this like color block thing. Um, brown leather. It's just really, really dirty on the inside. I gotta definitely clean that out. This one is so cute. And I'm so mad that it's damaged. It's like so damn cute, but it's apple bottom. You know, apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. It's ratchet. So, you know, um, has a really nice lining, but <laughs> it's coming apart. You know, this is not like. It's not really quality material, but it's, it's like a little bowling bag style. It even has like a lace sub detail. It's like a bowling bag. Really, really adorable, but super messed up. I don't think I'll even be able to sell it like that. So I'll probably just get rid of it. I don't seem to find a brand on this, but another really nice condition. It has like these... Oh, no, that's not even... I was thinking it had like something like a wallet you know it has these like id pa patches pouches whatever so i thought that was for that but no it's just like a design um it does have a front pocket really cute like you know faux reptile print on the trim those little studs to um, stand it on sit it on whatever really good condition feels really nice feels like suede or something this one is adorable this feels like like a like a basket like a hand basket like a hand weaved basket this is Liz Claiborne um, it has like a pink palm tree lining which is nice it needs to be cleaned though of course as most of these um, but it's in really really good condition not very dirty on the outside probably just you know a good but wipe down will fix all of any imperfection that it has. This is Marlo. Anyone know that brand? Marlo. Mm. Good condition. Good, good, good condition. Nice. Brown bag has like this, um, I don't even know what this is called. I guess it's like a woven type thing <laughs> woven detail on the straps has the, these little details that looks really cute has these it has like a phone you know this has to be old because look this is a phone pouch whose phone looks like that anymore this has to be like old an older maybe vintage bag um hopefully i can figure out which of these bags because a lot of these bags look vintage Hopefully the ones that I'm going to sell, I can figure out which ones are vintage. That way I could, um, you know, get rid of them as vintage. Another Liz Claiborne. Just basic black. Nothing very special. Not in bad condition. I can just wipe it down. Um... Another St. John's Bay. Black, basic, good condition. Must be genuine leather. It's in such good condition. Another really good basic um, Wilson's leather. I don't know if I can show this to you guys. Wilson's leather. Genuine leather quality since 18... Oh, sorry. Yeah, 1899. Uh, it's a really nice brown, very old style. So hopefully, um, I will find some buyers for these bags. The only like designer designer that I found in this whole bunch was probably the um the coach. At least designer that I know. I don't know a, a lot of the the brands. 
it could just be random off brands um a lot of them were just like no name no brand um bags uh that jenna de rossi did catch my eye i don't know if that's a designer if you guys could just give me some deets um liz claiborne kind of like a designer but it's just something that's fallen off nine west that bag was just not even good enough to consider it a designer um i'm not totally unhappy i did get a lot of basic basic handbags basic shoulder bags but I think they're good enough that um, I can put minimal amounts of work into cleaning them up and in most of them at least. Some of them I would have to put a little bit more work than others. But if I feel like it's not worth it, then I'm just going to either give it away, donate it, or send it to my aunt in Colombia. Because um, my aunt does a lot of projects. She like ma she knits, so she makes like handbags, she makes... A whole bunch of things she's always into like some type of crafty thing and always making things and selling things so I'll see if maybe you know she could probably upcycle them I don't know if she's into upcycling but um, maybe she could upcycle them and or use use it as materials gut it out use the pieces as materials for whatever she's gonna make um, so I'm not super happy with this box, but I'm not super unhappy with it either just because there were a lot of nice purses. Um, I feel like for what I got, I definitely should have paid less. I did pay a lot. Uh, com like when you think about the condition of them, of course I didn't know the condition beforehand. It was kind of like a mystery box, but when you think about the condition of them, um, I definitely shouldn't have paid how much I paid for them, but my whole total was because of because of like shipping fees and then like the liquidation.com has its own like uh, buyer premium fee. There's just a bunch of fees, you know, so many fees. So and I know people selling uh, online know all about fees and customers that go crazy over fees. I'm not one of those people so you know I was like all right well I bid this much I won it for that much I'm supposed to pay that much but surprise you got fees and fees and shipping and all that so it was way more than what I won the auction for which is something I didn't consider when I placed my bid um, and obviously it wasn't there was already um, like two other bidders but obviously it wasn't such a hop in um, auction for me to have one because <laughs> I won at a fairly low price for the amount of purses um, but you know that's just that just means I have to if I'm going to purchase from them in the future I have to really look into um, better lots um, read more into the details like read read and just double read double check the details of the lot um, I think it's just really important to be aware uh, I don't want like this video to keep anyone from checking out the website or you know wanting to purchase from there I do think it's really good um, I found the website from an Instagram friend that I have uh, Rebecca at the reseller mom show I really love her Instagram and she um, also does videos here on YouTube that are really really great uh, they're really just basically about reselling as a parent so it's really it's really interesting and um, I just noticed like a, f a few times on her Instagram page that she was talking about purchasing from liquidation.com like a lot of things so I was like ooh, let me you know let me just check out the website and I was just checking them around I so I went into it like a couple different times until I before I finally was like you know what let me let me just put in a bid I probably won't even win but you know let me just see what happens so I won it um, it wasn't the greatest catch of all but um, I'm happy to have done it so now after I get all these um, purses out of my way like donated clean listed I'm going to look into buying in there again, but uh, that will probably be far, far into the future. 
because like I said I have a lot of inventory to deal with and instead of worrying about photographing and listing them I've been having to worry about figuring out how to store them where to store them and all that so hopefully today will be my day that I can take a lot of pictures and um, post Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it um, encouraged you to look into buying things online, sourcing things online. Um, it's not always a bad thing. You just have to really look into what you're doing and read the fine print. <laughs> Please follow me on Instagram at CEO Dreams Lifestyle. Also follow all my reseller platforms. I'm on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. I'm also on Depop now. Uh, I'll have a link to all those places in the description. Uh, thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Have a great day. Bye.